बिजनेस साइकिल स्पॉट फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट लेट अस सी व्हाट इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन वी कैन हैव फ्रॉम बिजनेस साइकिल फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट मोस्ट ऑफ द बिजनेस साइकिल चार्ट्स वी सी शो जीरो एज एवरेज वैल्यू बट दिस इज नॉट द केस इन द रियल वर्ल्ड लेट्स एनालाइज सम केसेस हियर केस 1 If the up cycle is more than down cycle this means there is positive growth and we can draw a graph which has positive average value case 2 if the up cycle is much more than down cycle this means there is a very strong positive growth so the graph will show very high positive value case 3 if the up cycle is of same height as the down cycle is this means there will be no overall growth as the difference is zero the graph will show zero as average value on y axis if the down cycle is more than up cycle this means there is negative growth the graph will reflect it with negative value case 5 if the down cycle is much more than up cycle this means there is very strong negative growth thus our chart changes to high negative value so in this page we can see comparison of all five cases it shows from case 1 having positive growth to a strong positive growth then coming back we have zero growth then small negative growth to very big negative growth Now let's join these business cycles together and form another graph using the average value of these business cycles. If we notice carefully, we can see new business cycles are forming, but on a much larger scale. This is very important observation as it means that combining many business cycles together forms bigger business cycle or in other words every business cycle is made of smaller business cycle let us see what are the key points we can extract point number 1 opportunities are present in short term cycles as well as in long term cycles key point number 2 in short term range between burst and peak is small thus the profit margin is small for short term investors since there are lot of investors that can affect small cycles with their investment so small cycles shows lot of change in directions while moving along its trend this means it increases the risk for investors and he has to be more active and accurate thus in short term technical analysis works better point number 3 bigger business cycles are affected by big decisions and it takes decades to form also there are very few people who can make big decisions related to countries economies and markets so bigger cycles are less noisy and are more predictable thus fundamental analysis works best here and huge money can be made from it point number 4 bigger cycles can bring big changes a normal business cycle is a 4 to 5 years it give rise to 50 to 60 year cycle which bring a huge change like great depression change in world reserve currency etc similarly bigger business cycle give rise to far bigger cycles like a 60 year cycle can give rise to cycle of 500 to 600 years that may bring about change in world order world history or world civilization for example approximately every 50 to 60 years big depression comes world currency changes big wars are fought and technology changes likewise after approximately 500 to 600 years new empire rises and take control of the world and in same line we can also see that approximately about 5000 to 6000 years new civilization emerge and it may destroy old one There are many bigger cycles that are in motion today but we don't notice them I hope you like this video and it helped you to improve your understanding of the world In the next part of this series 
will look into rise and fall of companies in sectors related to business cycles. Please visit our website www.playnews.com to see more videos and do add your precious comments, like, dislike, so that we can provide videos you love to see. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get our latest videos. Thank you and have a nice day.